Pouring, I mean, pouring through. Like somebody had a hose and it was just coming through the glass. It was amazing. That's amazing. The wall wasn't yeah. wet. The window, it, it just went basically right through the window. It's crazy. And sometime we'll be sitting here and we, you'd be sitting on that couch, you'd catch a glimpse of somebody walking. Oh, Did it break the window? No. no. It was coming through the window without breaking. That's awesome. It's like if you look at that door, right? And you look at the seams sure. of that door, it was gushing through the seams. Gushing through the seams. That's amazing. And then we used to have shelves above those windows on the side of the fireplace. You see Fox sat up there for probably 10, 15 years, wouldn't wind up or nothing. All of a sudden we're sitting here and it just starts playing away. And they don't leak when it rains or when it rains and blows, it doesn't leak then in times like that. I've seen this one, no. haven't seen it like that since at one time. Yeah, huh. that one was time. A, one time. So it was probably, you know, maybe five inches by Did you four still have the, the box in the house? No, I think we. You get scared you don't know. Like, no, I, I've never been afraid of anything Good. in the house, Good. ever. I mean, I do know there's something here. It's not evil, it's not mean, it's not trying to do anything. It just has a presence here, mm -hmm. and it's like, when you see shadows, and you see something moving across, and it's like, okay. It's very distinct, yes. yeah. Yeah, and it's mean. like, and when the dogs react to something that they're seeing something, and they're like, and you see them like all intense, like, what is this? And it's like, okay, what are you seeing? It's like, And then so, we stopped the same day. He was on his haunch, laying on the floor, and we got those little round things on top of the table. And all of a sudden, he started growling and jumping around and growling. I said, what's the matter? So I went over and I moved it. After I moved it, he stopped. Huh. So I don't know if there was something in it. He could see something or he sensed something, but he was really jumping. He was really going crazy. <laughs> He was barking for a long time. And then he came down, I was down in the office, and he came down, you need to come and look at your dog. This. I was like, what? <laughs> it's like I come, and he is, the hair is all on his back, and he's comes down with his front legs, and he's like <laughs> going around the table. It's like, what are you doing, Dylan? It's like, it's okay, it's okay. So, and then he's my like, friend, who is a psychic, like I said, she's been here, she knows. Um, we sat on the other side of the pool, there's a pool right out there, we sat on the other side of the steps, and we're just talking, having a regular conversation about nothing psychic or nothing, mm -hmm. anything. and we're just talking, everything like that. But we're facing here, and the hallway lights are off, but the bedroom light's on, but the door is shut, and there's a little opening, so you can see kind of light in there. And you could, I just kept watching these two figures. One was taller than the other, they both had hats on, they were men. And they kept walking in the hallway back and forth. So I, I just said, I said, Brina, Brina, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, but do you see what I'm seeing? Right. And she's like, she goes, yeah, don't worry about it. She goes, they're nothing. She goes, they're nothing. They're, they're, they're attached like, to the property is my guess. They're, mm -hmm. they're not to the house. They're to the property. Something to land. What type of, residual. what kind of hats did they have on? What kind of what hats? You said they had the hats on? Color, like a tall hat and one was. Almost like a top hat then. Yeah, it was like top hats, but one was really tall, That's like interesting. Abraham Lincoln, and right? the other one's maybe a little bit, sh it was shorter, about halfway shorter. But That's pretty interesting. The guy I've seen walking from one side to the other has one of them, them longshoreman hats on. Oh, okay. The dark one that they just fold up like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Like a pea jacket, like a, like a Navy jacket. Interesting. He was, he, that, the couple of times that I've seen that guy, I mean, it was really that clear. Right. It's usually just a... I'll be sitting here and I catch like something go by and I'm like, yeah. what the hell? Or the, the other day? I never see anything over here. It always No, I did. I saw one by the refrigerator. Yeah. I see everything over there, just like the dogs do. It's like everything I see is happening. That's all this area. side of the house. So. It seems like, kind of, it gets to that threshold closer to your zen space. It's like a break. And it's like, and then, then talk to them. this woman yeah. at work, um, she came in and said, uh, and we were just talking about work stuff and everything, and then she says, she goes, you have GMOs, she called them GMOs, she's American Indian, so I don't know what that is, and she goes, you have two GMOs in your house, and she goes, I see them, she goes, you don't have to worry about them, she goes, they're, they're just causing chaotic stuff in your house, they want to stir up stuff, she goes, uh -huh. so... I was just kind of looking at her like, okay, you're bizarre. Okay, this is really weird that you're telling me this. I don't even know you really. And you're, now you're telling me I have somebody in my house. And there's two of them. And they like to stir things up. And she says, so she goes, do you have do you have things happening in your house? Like, I said, like, what? Like, and she says, like, chaotic things, just crazy kind of things. Or do you have arguments a lot with your husband? Do you whatever? And I was like, oh, you mean he's possessed is what I told her. <laughs> <laughs> I get a little, like, electrical feelings. 
kind of in this whole crown chakra area, I get like little tingles. So, I mean, it kind of feels like there's something active. I mean, there's some residual, but it feels like there's a little bit of active. So we might get some responses, hopefully. Anything pennies all over crazy. in here. Oh, interesting. Oh, copper pennies all over in here. Well, pennies like, from what that right? is going on? Did you happen to notice what year the pennies were from? No, but when I no. picked them all up, we went to dinner, we came back, there was pennies on the floor again. Okay. I went out to the car, there was pennies by the car. That's oh yeah, there was pennies all over the car. I found a penny in the window. He says, you're doing this, aren't you? And I said, are I you? I was with you. <laughs> are you really serious? Do you think I want to, because we didn't have this area park in here, so it was just hard for us. You know how hard it is to pick up pennies off of something? I said, do you really think I enjoy being down on my hands and knees picking up all these pennies? It's like, mm -hmm. I have better things to do than throw a bunch of pennies on the floor. And besides, you went to dinner and came back and they were back. Yes, so. I'm not talking about maybe five pennies. I'm talking like 35, 40, 50 wow. pennies all wow. over here. And then when they were out, he didn't even pick them up. I didn't pick them up. Out there by his car, this big car, <laughs> there was pennies all over the ground. Out there, it's like, I'm not picking them up. Oh, I'm like, pennies, pennies from heaven, but that's kind of an, a, a big message. 35 cents worth of... I'm not worried about anything in here. I mean... It's, but it sounds like there's some general I feel activity. that there's somebody here. There's right? stuff definitely down there. Yes. I, I get that distinct going back and forth feeling, a mm -hmm. constant pressure. Well, one of them makes like noise because I've woken up in, in the middle of the night. It would sound like somebody slammed the glass door. Yeah, there's times oh, wow. you hear things like a and, thud or something. Now you know how you hear, you hear bumps, bumps at night. Bumps at night. Sure. That's, cool. that's what we're going to be. This woke me up and it sounded so loud at first. And I said, wow, somebody broke something. It sounded like the glass broke. Uh -huh. And then there was nothing. And then a couple, about a couple of weeks later, like a big bang. And then there was nothing. Like Eric, that one time. Remember they heard that big bang noise? And oh, yeah. There was nothing there. Yeah. Hmm. And it's like the little dog, he, when we first got him, he was really, like, curious about the EVC and, like, turned his head and looking up and looking at things. But now it's like, he's just like, oh, I don't care anymore. It's the young dog now, the pup that's here, that's kind of like, we're noticing it more because mm -hmm. the little much is like, oh, whatever. I'm like, I'm over But the it. other one's not <laughs> used to it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, he'll be, he'll be sound asleep and all of a sudden he'll jump up and start, just start barking. Really? And then he'll stop. That's cool. You get back down and go to sleep. I thought, well, maybe I had a nightmare. But it's, it's, he repeats it. Not every day, but all of a sudden he goes, Bobby just got. Rrr, rrr, rrr. Wow, goes, something's bothering him. I do keep seeing something go back right, right in that little, just past the fridge. Okay, so it's not, it's not me then. No, I keep seeing somebody walk by right there. Not down well, the they must know you're all here, so they're filming. They're coming out. They're, they're like, ooh, look, we get to To the, the seance, and I've never been to one before, so, you know, you watch the TV thing, and you think, oh, my God. It is. So I was, like, going, I wanted to go, because I was really curious. I wanted him to go with me, but he's, I'm not doing that stuff. And I said, well, it was at nighttime, and I said, well, I don't want to drive home by myself. He says, okay, I'll drive you over there. I'll go meet up with my friend. Call me when you're done. I come back. So it wasn't anything that I expected. The lights were all on. She did have white candles mm -hmm. going. She smudged all of us when we came in. Good. And, you know, everybody paid $15. It was a seance. There's probably 15 of us there, women. And it was like, but I felt so bad because 95% of it was all coming to me. Coming mm -hmm. through it was my uncles and all that is my uncle Bob came through and it was like in she says you know she goes I have a Bob here and my girlfriend said Tracy I said she goes I have a brother Bob but he's still alive and she goes no I feel it towards you and then I was like oh my god yes I have my uncle Bob died like when I was in high school she goes well he's saying that he goes to your mom's house all the time she scribed my mom's house two-story house with big white pillars in the front a lot of property mm -hmm. And she, he says, I'm there all the time. He goes, but your mom ignores me, and I keep trying to get her attention, but she won't pay any attention to me. Oh, wow. And so, and then he goes, um, she says, he loves your property. He goes, you have all these fruit trees. He loves sitting in the peach tree. He goes, but you have no citrus. <laughs> he went, and we have no citrus. <laughs> and he, went, he says, you need to plant some citrus. And then he's Did like, you? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Good. And so it was then she says, she goes, oh, she goes, he keeps talking about this goat, this goat, this goat. And I was like, oh, my God. We had a pet goat that ran around with the dogs free. It was not fenced in. I mean, he just hung out on the property and hung out with the dogs and laid down with the dogs. And my uncle loved that goat and would come over and play with that goat. And it's like, and so I'm like, going, oh, this is so weird. That's pretty 
I mean, there were so many. My other uncle came through, and she, he loved to read, and she was saying, I have, you know, Rupert here, and everybody was like, Rupert, and I was like, my Uncle Pete was, we called him Uncle Pete, but his real name was Rupert, and so wow, he's here, funny. he's reading all these books, he wants you to know he's reading all these books, and I was like, and she goes, okay, okay, she goes, big, thick books, he's reading these books, he's big, and it was just like, oh God, but then this guy that was my cousin's best friend, he liked me, I liked him as a friend, mm -hmm. but there wasn't a connection there. Mm -hmm. Right. But we were friends and we did stuff together where we were, you know, right after high school and stuff like that. And he came through and she says, I have a mic here and he's saying that you feel responsible for his death and you need to let it go because it wasn't you. He committed suicide, but it wasn't mm -hmm. over me. He was with some other girl. And I did feel guilty when I, because I, I felt like I rejected him because he, you know, he was there saying, I really like you more than just a friend. And I was like, no, I'm not going there. But it was like she was saying they're going, He's talking about, he was talking about airplane to Disneyland, airplane to Disneyland. I was like, oh my God, there's no way. This woman did not know me, nothing about me. Also mentioned your locket yeah. in that chain. He's so, giving me uh, a little necklace, another mm -hmm. gold one, but he was like, she said, he gave you a locket, he wants to know if you still have it. And I was like, oh my God, this is weird. And then the Disneyland and the airplane thing was, first time I flew on an airplane was to Disneyland with him and my cousins. We all flew. Uh, I mean, we had this thing over here and we had some of our neighbors come in. The guy next door is sitting there and she goes, you know, I, I keep sensing alligators. And we're all going, yeah, right, we're in Northern California, right? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, my uncle was in Louisiana and he brought me and my brother up a couple of little baby alligators, <laughs> real ones. So how in the world would she know? And like his dad came through and she goes, I have a little man here who smokes a pipe and he has a little hat on. <laughs> and it's like, and it was Gil's dad. And oh, so wow. She, he says, she goes, Gil's like, that's my dad, and she goes, he wants to know where all of his hats are at. Well, they were all here. I mean, he loved hats. So we had all these hat boxes with hats in them. And then the phone started ringing, and we're all in this room over here. So the phone started ringing, and the phone was in here. So when he gets up, like, just don't answer it, whatever, and it's like, but he gets up here. Out, we had a stereo system that you could turn the speakers off in here, and it was playing outside. And I had a friend sit outside that didn't want any part of this. Her mom was in here with us. So he goes and answers them. So we're all in there. It's like, he's saying, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and we're all waiting. He hangs up and then he goes, he leaves and he goes out the door. He just come back in there to us. And it's like, so we don't know what's going on. So she finishes up, we do whatever. And after everybody's gone, except for Tracy and her and I and Gil, she said, he tells her, I was going to, because he didn't believe her. You're carny, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to show what a fraud you are, whatever. And he mm -hmm. goes, the phone was ringing. And the question I was going to ask you was, what was the song I always sang to my wife every morning when she was when she dying? When she was dying. What is the song I always sang to her? When he answered the phone, nobody was here. And he walked out the door and went outside. Outside was the song playing. It was playing My Funny Valentine. My Funny Valentine out there. Now, what's the chance?